this video, we will be going over all your different reporting options. To begin, let's take a look at one of your work orders. Select Print to view a print preview. You will notice that right now my work order displays my company logo. It displays all my company information. If we scroll down to the charges, you'll see it shows my quantity and units, as well as the full charge. You have the option to manipulate some of these features. To do that, let's go over to your settings. In your settings, scroll down and select reporting options. If you are using business units, select which business unit you would like to edit the settings for. Otherwise, just select your company. Select Edit, in the first gray bar you will see the different edits that we can make to your work order. I have the option to select or deselect whether or not to include the company information, the logo, pricing information, charge quantity, and unit information. Let's say I'm going to take off both the pricing and the charge quantity and unit information. You also have the option to include a footer. Select Edit and add some text to be included in your footer. This text will show up on every single work order that you create. Let's say, for example, I would like to remind all my texts to make sure they lock all the doors after they leave and to also make note of how many hours they spent on site. From here, be sure you hit save. Now if we return to our work order, and again we will view it, and do another print preview, we will see the changes that we have made. If you recall, I deselected to take out the pricing information as well as the charge quantity. And I kept the logo and also our company information. The other thing I did was we added a footer to all of our work orders to remind our techs to make sure they lock the doors before they leave the property and make note of how many total hours they spent on site. Okay. Let's return to our reporting options. Again, in your Settings tab, scroll down and go to Reporting Options. And select which business unit you are using. Select Edit at the top to make changes. Now in the next section, you can select what appears on your route sheet. So right now you can see I have pricing information is included. Why don't we take that off because I'll probably be handing this over to my tax. Um, I will however include notes from the work order. And you can see right now it includes all of the phone numbers from the customers that they will be visiting. I don't think that's necessary so why don't I just include some of the main phone numbers. Um, the customer main number and if the contact has a main number. Scroll to the top to hit save. Good. 
And now let's go over to your dispatch board and print out a route sheet. To print the route sheet, simply select which employee or team you would like to print it for. Come down to reports. Open up the drop down and select route sheet and hit print. Okay, as you can see, I did select to make sure my work order notes were included for each work order. Okay. We also decided that we would keep the main phone numbers on here and it does not display any charge information or any pricing. Okay. Let's go back to our reporting options again. Okay. In your settings tab, scroll back down to reporting options. I'll select my company and select edit at the top. In the next section, I can manipulate different things that appear on my invoice. Right now, I have selected to include company information, I include my logo. Why don't I take off the charge quantity and unit information since the customer may not need to see that. If you are using kits, you have the option whether you would like to show a single line for the kit so that the, they do not see the individual kit contents and the charges, or you can also show them the kit contents with just one single charge, or if you would like them to see the entire breakdown, you can include the entire kit contents as well as each charge for each content. Okay, I'm going to leave it showing just a single line for the kit. You also have the option to add a footer to your invoice. So I will select edit here. And why don't I make a note just thanking my customers for their service. And hit OK. Once you are done making your changes, be sure to hit save. Now let's go over to our accounting and take a look at an invoice. Okay, we'll select to view the first one. Before I actually show the print preview for the invoice, let's take a look at the work order. In the work order here, you'll notice that I do have a kit with individual kit contents and all their charges are in here as well. If I go to print the work order, it will provide me with a print preview showing me the individual kit contents. Okay, let's go back over to the invoice now. Okay, and we will select print to see a print preview of this invoice. Okay, so we had selected to keep the logo and my company information at the top here. However, um, a huge difference is we had decided to take out the kit contents, right? I had only selected to show the kit as one line, so it doesn't show any contents and the breakdown of the charges of the contents. Okay. You will also notice that I have added a footer here thanking my customers for their business and to please call with any questions and smiley face. Let's return to your reporting options. Okay. In your settings tab, we will select reporting options again. <coughs> and select my company. And choose to edit at the top.
in the last couple of sections, you will notice that you have these similar options um, when you are creating estimates. Again, here you can decide whether to include your company information, your logo, if you would like to show the charge quantity and unit information. You can also select how much of the kit to appear on your estimates. And you can also include a footer here. So you can see in my estimate right now, um, I have some legal jargon as well a, as a signature line because um, sometimes I do print out my estimates for my customers to sign. Okay. You also have the same options in your billing statement. You can select whether to include your company information and logo and if you would like to include a footer. This concludes our video on how to set your reporting options. If you have any questions, please contact your customer success coach or contact our support team.